Just because you get sober doesn't mean the world stops and everything becomes roses and rainbows and sunshines. Like what that did was exposed every single thing that I had suppressed all those years raw in the rawest form. One thing about alcohol is, and especially getting sober, um, what I noticed and what I've noticed from all of my friends that also got sober is when you get sober, the real work begins. People think oh. that everything's better, but you've been you've been covering this up this whole time. And then you get sober and you've got all of this um, traumatic stuff that you shove down. And especially in your case, and, and it's physiological too, right? So you've, you have before, or when you come back from war, I assume that you have cortisol and your stress hormones are at an all are, are completely maxed out everywhere you go. You're hypervigilant. You're looking everywhere all the time. You, you, how can you not? Right. And, uh, you know, and then, and then you, you try to make that go away by drinking, right? Cause then you relax, it gets your cortisol levels down. You get to chill. It's the only time where all of a sudden you're not looking at everything. And I've, you know, um, I just know so many people that have gotten sober and then all of a sudden that comes back up and now you got to fight the real war with yourself, which then is a whole nother problem. People think right when you get sober, <laughs> everything gets better, you know, but when you have this instant fix to this problem that you've been using that now has more problems than the problems it solved. Now what? So what was it like when you first got sober? I'm glad you brought all that stuff up, man, in the manner in which you did it, because it's all mental uh, brain chemicals. You talked about cortisol, there's dopamine, there's adrenaline, there's serotonin. And that's what my sh all my stuff was firing off, like you stated, man. So when I was drinking and using drugs and sleeping around with women that I shouldn't have been with and driving fast and getting in fights, I was raising that, trying to get that dopamine, trying to get that fix yep. uh, it, to try to compare to combat. Yep. I would get nowhere near close, you know what I mean? But it was still just searching. I damn near had to die numerous times for me to ask for help, man. Uh, my nine lives are, are, are up plus some. And uh, when I finally did at the VA hospital here in La Jolla, in the emergency room, that's when the real work began. Like you stated, it's not a just because you get sober doesn't mean the world stops and everything becomes roses and rainbows and sunshines. Like what that did was exposed every single thing that I had suppressed all those years raw in the rawest form. So guess what, Hector? The shit you thought you were numbing, the shit you thought you were shoveling away, packing into a little suitcase, is all right here in the open. Luckily, thankfully, when I went and sought treatment for my alcoholism in rehab, I was doing, um, it was su SAMI group, Substance Abuse and Mental Illness. So I was tackling my PTSD treatment and s substance abuse. So I would be going back and forth between classes. And, and, uh, dude, I hit that hard for like 10 years, bro. Day, like constantly. I broke my foot at work when I had a few months of sobriety. So I didn't have no alcohol in my system, but they gave me Vicodin. Mm. They gave me Vicodin. Like I said, bro, I'm an alcoholic and I'm an addict. I used to snort Vicodin in the past. So I break my foot. I get Vicodin. I'm sober. We go to Big Bear on a family trip. And in between San Diego and Big Bear, there's that Riverside National Cemetery. Well, my brother that was killed on my mom's birthday, Edgar Daclon, Doc, he's buried there. I remember driving back and um, the emotions were too much for me, man. The emotions were too much for me. This was raw. I remember I told you I'm sober. And I, and I abused my Vicodin. I abused it in the, in the sense of I knew what I was doing when I took it. Yeah to numb myself i went to the va hospital afterwards talked to the counselor or whatever and i told her what i did you know that was honest of me and i'm glad i did because she's like hector you need to stop that your brain doesn't know the difference between alcohol and vicodin your brain just knows that hey this is a feel-good chemical and i'm like holy fuck after that i stopped everything everything i didn't quite reset i didn't reset my my sobriety date from the alcohol it was only like a couple months, but the truth is that I abused Vicodin early on in my sobriety. And since then, well, I've been 
12 years clean and sober from all substances. Amazing. Dude, yeah. So... Hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you like content like this, go to the description below. The full video should be there. And do not forget to like and subscribe. 97% of the people that watch this channel are unsubscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It does a lot for the channel and it gives you more content like this. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.